Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com and I am here with Diane Reevely. Hi, Diane. hi, hi, darling. We are at the VIP Ranger event and you're going to show us your stuff and do some demos. Yep, I'm going to show you the new products and things. So. All right. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for hi, taking your time. <laughs> Hello. Hello. The Brits are in. The Brits are in. <laughs> okay, so my release this time wouldn't be. Um, complete without inks because that's that's what I do all and all about inks so I have two brights I don't know why this label is upside down but I'm actually thinking I quite like that so this is tangerine dream which is the bright and then we have polished jade as well but then I wanted something a bit different because I have lots of bright colors so I'm not going into Tim's realm of earth tones and vintage but I wanted some colors that would blend blend with the others so I've got long time ago we used to have a color called pesto in um, the color wash which I loved the color but it, the, the color wash was too intense for me so I was like I want a color that's similar to that so we have a chopped pesto I have ground coffee which is a deep brown I have the slate gray which is a really nice neutral and then I have the pomegranate seed so and again a lot of uh, people like the idea of sprays and the idea of layering but they're not into my bright colors I find it strange but you know <laughs> not everybody likes the bright things that I do so this might this will help give a, a nice blend through um, I only ever bring six out because I do like that when a customer comes into the store that well first of all I like that a store's got room to put the six in that you know that it's not a massive release but also a customer when they come in they know there's the six they don't get too confused they can buy them in twos in threes or sixes and people tend to to buy them all eventually rather than if there was a big release and they just cherry pick so um, all my inks I actually put into Tim's water brush I put the, this is just his fine detail water brush I put them in so I'll just show you the colors briefly here so that's the peacock blue uh, peacock blue I don't have a peacock blue polished jade <laughs> <laughs> that's the polished jade and this is the tangerine dream so those are the two bright ones and there is um, the tag board has gone round the side actually for some reason this morning so you can see the different colors together this is the chopped pesto so when people look at it straight away they're like oh it's like dirty martini no it's a lot deeper than dirty martini so this is your ground coffee this one is the slate gray love that one love 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 it and this is pomegranate seed Aww. okay oh, yeah. yeah so the so the bottles look a lot darker yeah. than the ink is than yeah. the ink is because um and so if these were color wash and this was the bottle yeah. they, they, it would come out the same because of the, the way my inks are formulated they're not as intense so they're not as dark but um they go lovely together so for example this is this is the um, ground coffee, the uh, chopped pesto and the tangerine dream. And this one here is the polished jade, the ground coffee, the pomegranate oh. seed. So, you know, if you put those all together, it will be quite dark and an earth tone, but because I add the brights in as well, it still comes together. So we have those, we have uh, new stencils, new background stencils. Oh. Again, we have large and small. I always do large and small. This one is bubbles. I've gone quite graphic backgrounds really this time. Um, this one is triangles, there's a shock. This one is blocks <laughs> and this one is shattered. So again, you can see on here, I've just used them, oops. Um, this is the shattered here, but this is the triangles that's inside. There's another page somewhere. Oh, I was all organised for the first group, and now I'm not. I knew it wouldn't last. <laughs> there. So this is the blocks. <clears throat> this is bubbles. So I just wanted really, really nice graphic backgrounds. I've also got the, uh, the silhouette stencils went so well last time that people kept saying, will you bring out some more? So I did. This is Ruby. This time slightly different. They've got four because they've got a smaller one, which is good for cards. This is Fred. And this is Lottie, um, and she's not pregnant. She could, she could be if you wanted to be, but she's actually got. <clears throat> it's the pose. It's the way it is. So, so as well as getting the silhouettes, you also get the inners. Um, and again, I use them in my journals because I'm a journaler. 
but and people do tend to think that my range is a journal range. It's not. It can be used for anything. It can be used in tag, cards and tags, but obviously I journal. But you can see here there's um, the stencil of Lottie and again you don't have to you don't have to use my things with ink you don't have to spray here I just put the stencil on drew around it then put the background stencils in drew around those so there was no spraying or anything there the board the top board there as you can see the black figures are all the little bits of the stencils and then we've just added other parts in sorry no, <laughs> so, okay. so so again just using them a little slightly different way to which we normally would. Sorry. I've also got two couture, oh, it's the two couture, there we go, two new, the couture stamps went really well as well. These are clear, these are not the red rubber, um, they're not polymer, they're actually silicone and so if I did this with a, with a polymer stamp it would rip but you can just screw these stamps up which is great for me because I'm not the best um, housekeeper of stamps um, but this time I decided I just wanted last time I did bodies with no heads um, this time I've done heads so people are like oh do they fit the bodies no <laughs> as it's me no so I've just done some heads so I just brought two sets out with heads and again just to show are you going that way yeah <laughs> you can see the white cards are very sort of they're totally different for, for me because it's not just the way I do them, they're very, very classic and elegant. And then the ones underneath we've funked up and just added little bits of elements, little bits of gla um, the glasses and things. So, so it's going across the board. It's nice now that the brand is established um, that we can add different, different elements in and different audiences and things like that. So then the last thing I have is my red rubber stamps it wouldn't I love the red rubber I've gone quite big on these um, I just wanted just big bold images but something like this this it, I already had this one <laughs> the small one um, and I just wanted to make the mm. elements separate because I was stamping this and cutting it up to use it as different elements so here they can just stamp out all the separate elements so I would use it as hair mm. like this I would use the different one you know the different bits this um, here I've just used it as fronds, I've used it as, the, as a, st a stem for one of the big flowers on a lot of the samples. I've also, and I, I can't seem to find it, I don't know if it's wandered, but I've got a big tag somewhere with one of my previous ladies and she's a mermaid and this is her tail. Oh. So it's, um, and I'll be, doing, I'll be doing more videos and things so people can see. And you see, to me it's obvious when I drew it was a mermaid, but people are like, oh, I, keep, I forget that people don't have my strange <laughs> outlook on life so but anyway we took in hats these were these were made into I made these into hats and all sorts so and I was actually just thinking look that could be a shoe, a shoe. Yeah. Oh. it could be a little elf's foot don't you think uh -huh. well a big elf <laughs> a big elf so I have the big numbers again these are great for the cards um, I think one of the tags at the top has got the 50 on. I wanted them in the journals, so big numbers. The arrows, again, big and separate. Um, and I was saying earlier, there seems to be a lot of arrows around and people say, oh, have you all coordinated and done arrows? No, you just seem to do them. And then Tim's got arrows and it's, it's strange really, but mine are big separate, but again, I use them differently. You can see the bottom journal page, the, um, the hair, the arrows are coming as the hair. I've used them as bodies. Around the corner, I've got these as bodies with the little skeletons on the top. So, so I've used them of all, as all different. Yeah, it could be tails. It could be anything really. So, this one is um, already flying, absolutely flying. Um, the big flowers, because again, the bottom left journal page, you can see where I've curled all this. So the card makers are going mad. On this because you can layer them up and you can curl all the edges mm. um, and do and also whenever I do any of my stamps I, 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 I love my stamps so I'd never want to bring out a release and say we don't use these anymore this is it so I always make sure they work with what I've got so all the other little flower the, the original flowers can go in backgrounds um, again I always make my backgrounds to match my stencils so you can see we've got the graphic designs there and then the handwritten the words so and I wanted to show you this actually um, those of you who are who, how many of you are stamping if you're not a stamper for a long time you'll just go oh but if you're a stamper for a long time you're like oh mm. you can hear them but the elusive white pad looking for the elusive mm. thing that you can stamp with <laughs> well it isn't a new white pad I brought out the um, spray ink pad last time which was 
an empty pad and everybody was like you're selling us an empty pad mm -hmm. yes we are so we brought that out and it was really really popular and it it was to actually to fill in with your inks and to, and to do and I'll, I'll show you that because there might be some who haven't seen it um, and at home I have loads of them because I can so I have like one in this colour one this colour I have a lot but I never thought to say to people you can just put one colour on because that's you know why would anybody do that but you have to have to have to <laughs> just do it with white so it's just my white ink which is a different formula to the others it has a pigment in so it's more opaque and you just shake it shake the pigment you just spritz your pad this is quite wet actually and I've been using this back in my studio for about six weeks and everybody has walked out the door of our, st our store with mm. with the white one so um, I'll just get a black tag to show you um, oh Oh, I've only got small ones left, sorry, so I'll show you with a small one. <coughs> yeah, I will do, yeah, because because then you can show them with one, and I think if you show them with one colour, they understand, and then bring them in with the, with the different colours. So I'm just going to stamp across this page. And it will stay. You know, obviously, the, the bigger the stamp, the more area, the whiter it will stay. Within a f within a few seconds, that'll be um, that'll be dry, and it stay. You know, it stays white. But I wanted to show it with this one as well because even with the writing stamp, which is really really fine, it still shows up. Now, obviously, on black, it's the more more dramatic. I always show it on black, um, but you can see here on this page just on top of a, of a background because the white ink when it goes on my inks it actually lifts the color of the ink that's underneath so on the black or on paint it will stay exactly that same color but on on my inks some of the color will bleed through and come but it just you know it just looks as though you've written it with a really fine pen and and I was like oh eureka and then I was going to do a little video and tell everybody and I thought no I'm going to wait till CHA and show them so you can see in the background um, I've got the different bits. It is, it's pretty. And a lot of people haven't. Has anybody not seen me do the pad? Anyway. No. No? You haven't seen me? Oh, you haven't seen <gasps> No, well. I know, I oh, because oh, it was, no, because it was summer. That was it. Um, well, I've, all, I've wanted for a long time, wanted an ink pad that's variegated, not a stripy one. And, you know, and every time we tried to make it, you, we can't do it because a normal ink pad is dropped into a vat of ink and it's pressed and the colour. So if you make an ink pad like this that's compressed with so much ink in, it's fine. And then the next day it's one colour because everything's bled. It's all one colour. So what this is, it's just um, the foam. We have the foam in the pad there. And you just add the ink on the top. So this is a tool. This isn't an ink pad. It's a tool. So you add the ink and you use the tool. A bit like Tim's blending tool, but it's a much bigger version so all you do is you spray the ink on i'm just going to pop it on here just to so you just spray i always use whenever i'm spraying a page i always use three colors so just um i just always use the three it, but you can use as many colors as you want on there so you just ink it up and it's a bit like um you know when you get a new frying pan and then you burn everything um for the first couple of times and then it gets seasoned and it's like that the more you use it so when I've inked it I usually press it down just to press the ink into here but anything that's a mess around here I just take a baby wipe and I just clean it up and use use the ink oh, so yeah. I always you know nothing's wasted you just use the ink you can clean it up if you've got customers who like the idea of using the brush but they can't fill you know they don't want loads of brushes to fill you can actually pick up the color and you can paint with it as well and this will just sit there um and it won't it won't go anywhere so if you came back in a week you could still pick you could still reactivate and pick the color up from here when if you decide if the customer's only got one and they decide well i don't want these colors anymore um they can actually take it and put it under the tap and just rinse it and it will all rinse out okay it will never come completely clean it will always look slightly discolored but it, what you could then put oh wonderful thank you <laughs> you can you can then um 
put other colours on the top so you could change it to reds and pinks and it wouldn't matter um, I have loads like I say because I can so I don't clear them I don't clear them out I just have a lot but the customer could they could just have one and they just re-ink and re-ink like that but okay thank you um, <laughs> oh, re -ink re -ink yeah, done that one. So I'll just oh, so originally what I wanted it for was to so I could stamp all over and show you some variegated looks. So I tend to just go to one area of the pad and ink stamp down. Let's get some blue I in here. I love the etched lines in those little yeah, rectangles. The li yeah, the little. <laughs> No, it was because I wanted it to be slight, even though they're the similar to the um, stencils, I wanted it to be slightly different because with these stencils, a lot of the time, like I did here, I will just go in and draw the lines. So I wanted the stencils to be open so you could do it yourself, but because these are so small, I wanted, you know, slightly different. So, but you can see what ink pad would you be able to stamp with that would give you, you know, the varied looks like that and also the ink pad is great a lot of people don't really like sprays they are strange I know but they don't you know so they don't like the mess but so this is great they can use this I could either leave it like that okay or I could spritz it like this and get a watercolored look so can you see how it's blending um, and getting a watercolor look or I could take a baby wipe and I could actually do what I call the polish and polish it in as well and it won't smudge too much because what happens is when the ink hits a dry surface it instantly soaks in half of it goes in half sits on the top and it's the half that sits on the top that you can then move around so you could also as well <coughs> take this straight onto here now it's not the smooth inking that people are used to seeing with mine with the blend it's a lovely textured so you get this textured ink so i can put that there um, I could also take the stencil, lay the stencil on the top. And again, if I was doing this in the journal, I'd just do it the other way. I'd put the stencil on the journal. This lid clips off and I'd use it that way. But I can press, so I can press this down and then I've got the design through. But I've also, what's left on the stencil, if I give that a little spritz and so it's constant, you know, nothing's wasted. It's just a different look that you can add all the time. Normally I would just keep adding this into my journal. I'm just going to clean it here for you. But also, I don't know if you can see where I press the stencil. Can you see that there's um, an imprint there? So you can, again, you can just pick up the imprint. I don't know if you can see the blocks that are in there. And so when this is settled in a little bit, again, you can polish it like so we could polish this up you know and again you just clip this off so I could use it in the journal so to make a page again for people who are not keen on spraying you can just I can just take this and spritz a page and you can you know very quickly you've got you can do effects, you can do things like this. You can take this, you can ink your edges really, really quickly. So then you get the multicolored edge as well. It's, it's, it's a tool, it's not, um, it's not just an ink pad. Do you see what I mean? And even on, to, on top of something like this, I could still add a little bit of texture down here. You can just keep going, but it's just getting used to playing with it. It's just a different way of using my my inks. Yes, you have to spray them to get them onto here, but if you don't want to, I love getting inky and messy and everything, but if you don't want to, you can just do that little bit on here and use it in all these different ways as well. So, any questions? It's beautiful. Can I, I love just say how calm I am today? I don't think it will last, but um, it's a very calm, Diane, isn't it? This thing, <laughs> very calm. But yes, yeah, so you just get the very, you know, you get the the very the um, randomness through that you wouldn't. And then people say, how long does it last? It depends how much ink. Look at the colours now. They don't look like the colours that I yeah. put on. Yeah. Um, and I could just wash it out, start again, put the lid on, and, and off I go. So yeah. Thank Beautiful. you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Noah.